Hi, everybody. So two days ago, somebody reached out and told me that they were really enjoying the new world closed beta. And I don't think I ever saw myself pre-ordering the game. So last year, I did spend a couple days, I think, playing the beta at the time. And I guess I just anticipated not wanting to try it out. But lately, since I haven't been playing that many games, I kind of feel like I'm curious and wanting to just enjoy something where I can spend the time playing by myself and enjoying it without having too much stress on myself. So I decided to give it a try and I wanted to talk about some of my first impressions. So first off, what I experienced last year playing this game feels exactly the same as what I'm playing now. Keep in mind, I don't think I got that high in level last year. I definitely did not get to level 20. I don't even remember what the limitations are. I guess I'm going to talk through my overall experience with closed beta as well as gameplay, just in case people have been eyeing the game and would be curious to know about some of these things. In the beginning, at least, when I was playing the closed beta, I was crashing constantly. And I will say that since I have switched my frames per second cap to be 60, I have not crashed yet. But before, if you leave it uncapped, I was crashing all the time. That was also really, really frustrating because there would be times I would crash. I would be far from a settlement or I wouldn't set up camp. I can talk about those things in a little bit. That meant that I would die and I have to run all the way back to where I was because I was doing a quest there. So... One of the first things that I do want to talk about is traveling around. This is just based on my experience now. I am almost level 20. There are times where I am finding the traveling around really, really tedious. Okay, another thing I want to make sure people understand about when I'm discussing all of this is I am discussing it based on what I have experienced in the game. Um, I have not gone online and done research, so this is just based off what I know from playing, and that's it. So when it comes to travel, the only thing that I'm aware of is a couple things. You can set an in to your home point, and that is some place you can recall to, which is basically your hearthstone. So every hour, you can return to this inn. You can change it whenever you want, when you get to a new settlement. But basically, you get that every hour right now. I don't know if there's a way to lower that cooldown as of yet. But aside from that, there are also shrines that show up on the map once in a while. I don't think they're called shrines, but I don't know what the hell else to call them. And they are also areas that you can teleport to. But the thing is, you cannot teleport to them unless you are at another shrine or if you are at a settlement. So you can't just be anywhere on the map and choose to teleport. You have to be at one of those locations first. And it's basically called fast travel, I think. And the only way you can do that is if you have Azoth. I think that's the way they want you to pronounce it. And that is a currency that I believe you get through killing mobs occasionally or when you complete quests. Um, so far, I have not really been paying attention to when I got, get that currency, but... There have been times where I run out, and I do believe the further distance that you want to teleport, it will cost more. So aside from that, you can only run around, and there have been times where I'm finding it really <laughs> boring to run all the way out far for a quest. So another thing is when it comes to questing, I have not felt like there is a bunch of quests to do in an area and then you go back to town. So the way that I have been approaching leveling right now, I feel like after I went to the second settlement, after doing the first chunk of quests, I started out leveling the quests that were in my log. So I pretty much stopped doing any extra side quests and I've only been doing your, uh, I don't know what they call it. It's basically like syndicate marauders, or let's just say it's your covenant but anyways you pick one there's three of them and after you pick one you can do missions from their board that show up around the map and you go back and turn them in you get currency with them 
and then you can use that currency to buy items. So what I've been doing is I have only been focusing on the main quest storyline and then quests by them because what I've noticed is that when I go to one of the settlements and I pick up all the quests around town, they are all lower level than me. I am doing syndicate quests that are around my level and just the main storyline. And I don't know if that is the right way to go about it, but I'm not really the type of person that wants to do research. I just want to play and explore as I go along. One of my biggest, biggest, biggest gripes with this game that I think is pretty major is the fact that looting mobs or interacting with their body is really tedious. Every time you kill something, I don't want to say every time because there are times where I am able to interact with it without moving, but most of the times, right after I kill something, I cannot interact with it or loot it until I've moved my character around a little bit. So this happens pretty often when I'm trying to skin an animal and that is really annoying. Um, I feel like the fact that you kill so often in a game like this and having to deal with that very often is going to drive people nuts, especially when they are used to smooth interactions from other games. I feel like that's hopefully something that they will fix because I am experiencing it constantly in the closed beta and I fucking hate it. I don't want to get used to that habit either. I don't want to be like, oh, I'm killing this thing. He's about to die. Let me move around before I can loot him. That's just stupid. So this was something that I felt last year and it's still the same now, I believe. Spell casting in this game feels clunky and it also feels very unsatisfying. I haven't tried spell casting for very long because my experience thus far with it has been I don't enjoy it and I don't like it. Also, I feel like the damage it deals is really bad compared to the other weapons that you can use. So from my experience so far, there's a fire staff, there's a life staff, and there's also something else I think called the ice gauntlet. I have not tried that out yet. But with the fire staff, you basically use it as a projectile when you're attacking with it. So that can be annoying because when a mob is running towards you, you actually have to aim it properly and charge and shoot it or you just like use a quick attack out of it. So that's the way you deal damage aside from casting your spells. And casting the spells just doesn't feel smooth. So one of the first spells you get is an AoE like damaging spell that you target the ground with. And basically what happens is you press Q, something glows on the ground and you click. Normally that interaction can be smooth, I would say, but it's kind of like how I felt when I first started playing Valorant. I feel like you have to press multiple times or you have to delay it enough for everything to show up properly. And I don't feel like I'm ever going to really get used to that well because I feel like it could be improved. Um, maybe there is a cast point thing that I am not keeping track of. That is what's causing it to be slower because... I think there is some realism in this game that you have to get used to. So for example, when I'm fishing and I'm in the middle of the river, <laughs> I can't check my inventory because in order to check your inventory, your fucking character, they have to whip out their backpack, place it on the ground, and then it opens up. So that might be similar to like, if I'm about to cast my spell, he has to like fucking raise his hand first and then the glow shows up. Like, I don't know, maybe there's a factor like that. But that does suck overall, though, because I like playing casters. And when I play an MMO, ideally, I want to play a caster. And in this game so far, I feel like I can't. So in this game, you can wield two weapons. So right now I am just using a sword and shield. And then I'm using a life staff in my second weapon slot in order to heal myself. So it's pretty much kind of like a support for just myself and uh i don't really prefer that play style i was kind of hoping that there would be more of a caster mm, what do you call it there would be more caster motivation to play it but um i don't really think i feel like experimenting and leveling my fire staff more just to see what spell casting life is like because 
even at lower levels, it's really unsatisfying. So I don't think I want to torture myself just to try it even further. Another thing that I'm not sure if it's similar to the experience of other MMOs, but this is just how I feel right now in regards to this game. I feel pretty bored with the combat because I'm pretty much just left clicking, spamming my spells. Occasionally, if I feel like it, I will block if I'm facing a mob that's much higher level than me. And then after combat, I'll just heal myself a little bit. So what I have noticed, though, is that I actually right now with my current build, I feel pretty confident with attacking mobs four to five levels higher than me. Two of them at a time can be scary. So if I'm hitting a mob that high level, then usually I will definitely need to play properly, which means that I need to be blocking their attacks. I can't just letting them free hit me. So I guess that is pretty nice where I don't feel too restricted in what I can engage with. But in the very beginning while I was playing, I was definitely dying a lot. And I think another reason for that was just I was trying so hard to make the caster build work. And then once I switched to a sword, I was like, wow, killing stuff is so much faster now and definitely less frustrating. So I decided to just stick with it um, right now you are able to respec your stats for free before you're level 20. So I went an intelligence build first before I decided to switch my weapon. Okay, so next up, I want to talk about the professions. Based on just my preferences, so one thing that I would really prefer is being able to see the recipes when you're not at town. So for example, if I'm not at the station right now, like so here, you see all of these recipes. You see what it takes to make them. I can make this with corn or barley. Butter requires milk, pasta, this, blah, blah, blah. But if I'm not here, this is the only way that I can see that screen. Let me get rid of this. So cooking, this is all I see. I can't see what it takes to make them. Can't left or right click on this. And I'm not a big fan of that. I don't know if that was intentional, if they plan on adding something later on, but I don't like that. Also, another thing, I guess, I don't like when you're crafting these things. It takes up the entire screen. I'll make some butter, I guess. So let's make three butter. So when, I, when I'm crafting it... Okay, never mind. I forgot. So it's only slow when I am trying to create a weapon or something. So let me go create like an armor piece. Okay. Um, let's just make the cheapest one that I can get. Oh, I'm surprised that I can make iron plate stuff. Now, four of that, three, two, one. All right. So let's just say I want to make four of these. It just covers the whole screen. Oh, oops, I didn't do it the right way. I'm supposed to do this. So it covers the whole screen. Makes one. Makes two. Makes three. I don't know. I personally like being able to interact with my UI while I'm crafting things. Instead of like the whole screen showing you crafting something, that's just a minor grievance of mine. I'm sure it's something that I can get over just from, I don't know, alt tabbing and doing something else when I'm crafting like most people do. There's a lot of stuff in MMOs where you just kind of AFK let it do itself and then you just alt tab and do something else, right? So at least for this one, for what do you call these? For mats like these, it's not that bad because it does it like this, which is pretty fast. So I, that does not bother me at all. One thing that I did sort of learn after a couple of times. So for example, I found this first fast travel um, sometime into leveling and it was the only one that I found. So eventually there was a moment where the main story took me over here. 
and I did a bunch of quests over here and the settlement is all the way over here so at one point they sent me all the way back and then I had to run all the way back and I was like what the fuck I don't want to run so far my hearthstone was down and then eventually I went and explored this area just to the northeast and it turned out to be a fast travel location. So I was kind of annoyed about that because I had just ran back and forth and did not realize that. So I guess what I will maybe try to experience more as I play the game more is when you see these question marks on the map, try to explore those because you never know, they might turn into a fast travel and then you can save yourself a lot of time by being able to travel back and forth. But the thing is, you can see that my Azoth is out. So you can't actually fast travel too frequently, I think, before you will just run out. It's not that cheap to use. I feel like so far, every time I've used it, it's costed about 100 something. And I honestly don't pay attention to how much Azoth I get from questing. I don't know what the difference between these regions are outside of this territory standing thing. I know that you have different reputations with them as you quest and you also get different benefits. So for example, in Everfall, I get this bonus. These are bonuses that I selected. I tend to select gathering speed because <laughs> in this game, um, I've noticed that I spend a lot of time gathering and I feel really compelled to level my professions. And I'm not sure why, uh, but if I'm harvesting a crop or something and it takes me eight seconds, some of them, like the larger the crop is, the more yield and the longer it takes, right? So sometimes I want to just speed that up. Um, but yeah, see, if I go to a different territory, I'll have different benefits showing here. So I have faster gathering in Windsward than the other place. I have a little bit less XP gain, blah, blah, blah. But in terms of levels, I don't think that, I mean, maybe, maybe once I play more, I don't really know how much further I'll be able to get before this closed beta ends. But I am wondering if, say, like these further zones, it are, maybe they have higher level areas that don't have, you know, anything under a 10, or maybe they don't have any area under a level 15. Because if you look at, so it tells you recommended level 34, Recommended level 15, 17. So it tells you the range of what the mobs in that area will be. But right now, I do feel a little bit unsure, but I don't really mind that. So you see this icon right here? This basically means that there's a quest available here. However, the quests available here are pretty much too low for me. I think they're like level 13 and this one's something else. So I Pick them up just to see, and then I saw in the log that they were too low, so I abandoned them. The quests here as well, I'm pretty sure are the same. So I abandoned those as well. This one here I think is also the same. Once I do this next quest, where I have to do Trial of the Templar, you have, oh, he can't, oh man, he doesn't show me the screen. <laughs> I'm gonna have to pull that from a replay. But basically, you talk to him, you see um, your progress for your reputation with your covenant. And then you do missions on the board that give you experience, that give you currency towards items you can buy from your covenant. So for example, this sword here, I purchased it from them. I'm assuming that all covenant items will have covenant in the name. So I bought this as well. I bought this, this. This was from a quest, it's my first blue item. But yeah, um, pretty much I am at the next reputation, which is Templar. And I'm assuming that once I do this little quest chain down over here and come back, maybe it will unlock the rewards for the next tier. And I do have some currency saved up, so I should be able to buy some. It's kind of hard for me to definitively say whether I've been thoroughly enjoying it. So the thought of, you know, running all the way over here <laughs> doesn't thrill me. Sometimes I wonder if I'm just being lazy and I'm complaining because I do remember there was a lot of running around in WoW, but the thing is, WoW would have a flight path somewhere out here, but I don't. I mean, I guess technically, oh, I can fast travel here. 
I just thought of that now, but I don't have enough money, so I have to run all the way here. And there aren't that many fast travel locations. Like if you see the distance between these two, there's nothing in between. So ever, anything within, you have to manually run to. And they are pretty far. And uh, there's only one movement speed right now, and it's just running. So um, I guess I will continue to tr try it out and play it. But there are many aspects of this game that probably make it where this won't be a long-term game for me. Like, ideally, I don't want to be swinging a sword around. I like being a caster, and I don't feel like there is much incentive to be a caster in this game. But anyways, if anybody else is playing, let me know what your thoughts are. Maybe if you've gotten to a higher level, I would be curious to hear what you have liked about the game so far and what your experience is, how your build is. So... I did look up for a second. Um, oh, so one thing that I wanted to look up was whether I can level my second item, my second weapon, sorry, by just having it equipped instead of using it. But that led me to a bunch of results where uh, it was telling me builds about like some of the weapon combinations. And I don't actually want to look those up or follow it because... I just want to play based on what I feel like is my style from what is given to me. So for a while I tried a Warhammer and it's just a slower swing. It hits harder, but I don't feel like I like that style. It's a bit too slow for me maybe. I haven't tried many other ones though. So I have not tried Spear, I have not tried this. I've, I, I don't want to try a projectile one because based on my experience with the staff, I really don't like the whole following a mob while they're running and trying to aim and hit them. I don't know. I don't find that enjoyable. So probably not going to use any of those. And um, yeah. Anyways, those are my jumbled thoughts on what it's been like to play this game so far. And thank you so much for watching.